Morning. Well, good morning, everybody. It's another week. It is Monday, the 16th of November. And we're off today, going to be doing some more of Jennifer's room, which I'll show you in a bit. She's off at nursery, happy as a clam. Yes, hope you're all well. We're going to do it again. See you in a bit. Yeah, picked up Jennifer from nursery, and she's at Lally's. And she's just sitting there like she owns a place eating bring around her Pringles. Yeah. Say hello. <laughs> you funny girl. That's a blanket. So we've uh, finished in Jennifer's room now. We've got as much off as we can. As you can see, it's, it's blank. There are some, some bits of paper stuck here. And we haven't done behind the radiator because we can't. And there's this bit where the blinds are up and the baton. But our mate will do that. Paul's texted him. Just waiting for him to get back to us. Once he's got this sanded off and plastered nicely and sealed, I'll paint it. And I like painting, so it won't take me long. But she's going to have a nice room. We need to get her a nice lampshade and... There's a chair in here because sometimes she's crying. I come in and hold her and sit on the chair. And yeah, I should have a big bed by Christmas. It's growing up far too fast. So it's a bit of a mess in here at the moment. Um, my friend's dad, the one who's going to plaster our spare room and does our building work, has given me some stuff for free. About five or six years ago, his wife died. Um, and he's just been clearing out her stuff. Now she was a bit of a shopaholic and she had three double wardrobes and a single wardrobe full of clothes, some never worn or worn once. So we said I could go in and take what I wanted, what was left. And it was only one single wardrobe that they'd missed and that's fine. And that's two suitcases full and that is in the car along with two pairs of shoes. One of which looks like it's been worn once and one pair doesn't look like it's been worn at all. So I've got here some bags. There's uh, my stock there, which has got my work laptop stuck in it. Um, there's a bag there which has got handbags in it. The bin liner there has got shoes in it. And that box has got two pairs of shoes in it. So I've left the clothing and the shoes that are in the car that I picked up today in the car. This is stuff I brought home the other day. And I'm going to work through this lot of stock and get it listed. Because I've been bad on eBay and I'm hoping this is going to kickstart it. I've got to take his two suitcases back because it took two suitcases to clear one wardrobe. Um, there's one top that's beautiful top. Got Still got tags on it. There's some nice dresses, some suits, um, you know, some nice going out dresses, some nice everyday tops, a pair of trousers, skirts, it's a good amount to keep me tied over, tie me over until I can feel safe enough to go out charity shop hunting, which I do miss and I would like to do. I might try and do it before Christmas. So you see my Elvis books there, my complete works of Shakespeare. So it is a bit of a mess. I'm not going to show you any other room because it's a real mess. There's colouring books all over the floor again, funnily enough, and my boom books. But I will tidy it up in a bit and then I'm going to start photographing the shoes um, possibly this evening after I've done my colouring chat. So I'm going to start tidying up. I'll uh, show you some of the stuff later on when I start unboxing it to um, get uh, listed, to get photographed and listed. So yeah, I mean there's stuff that she's never worn. And I'll admit, I miss her very much. She was a lovely lady. She was such a friendly person. She, oh, she was amazing. She used to lean over the fence and yell me mum's name. And, and sometimes you can still hear her doing it and you really miss it. She's just one of those people. She was larger than life. And she never met Jennifer. And that's one of my sadnesses. That's one of my regrets is that she never met Jennifer. She would have loved her so much. I mean, she's got grandchildren of her own. But she still would have loved Jennifer. And I know she would. So I'm going to crack on now. And I will see you in a little bit. Okay, Monday night and everybody's in bed. We're all shattered, so I'm not doing eBay tonight, but what I'm gonna do is make a plan of action for tomorrow um, so I can try and get a few bits of eBay done. Because I need to get through that stuff uh, from my next door, my mum's next door neighbour. And I just need to get some stuff listed, I've got stuff everywhere, so. I'm gonna make a plan of action. I'm gonna make a colouring video because I need to do a colouring chat, so I'm gonna do that next. And then tomorrow will be an eBay day. I'm worn out. It's been a hell of a day. I'm so hot. I might be on the change or something. 
Anyway, I've got the window open. It's lovely and cool in here. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just uh, get out um, Tales of the Midnight Masquerade because somebody requested we do some colouring in that. So I'm going to do that one and crack on. I'm not starting anything new for myself as much as I want to, other than patterns, which I do when we're quizzing. Um, and there is a quiz on this weekend I want to do. Uh, so yeah, so um, I have got a pattern on the go. I might do a little bit of it if I feel like it once I've done this video. I might not. I might do something else. But yeah, I'm going to crack on with that now. There's a few things I want to do before I go to sleep. Oh, it's been a long Monday. There's been a lot of filming going on today, I think. A fair bit for me. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. It's actually Tuesday night. I forgot to vlog today. It just because it was hidden in the, in the thing. So I've done my job. Picked up Jen. Had a sleep. Been playing with her. She's playing with Daddy in the ball pit. So we're going to go down and have a look now. Look Where's at the pair work? of them. <laughs> she suddenly decided she wanted to play in the ball pit, didn't she? She decided she wants me to get out. You want Daddy out now? You only got in a minute ago. Oh, that's good. Isn't it? Down. Down. Oh, clunk. My turn. It's your turn, Jen. Gonna lie down, have a sleep. You'll stay there all night now. That. That. <laughs> These are mine. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy's stuck. <laughs> Daddy's stuck. Stuck. <laughs> Put that belly away, Jennifer. Hey everyone, it's now bedtime. It's gone ten. Paul and Jennifer, I've, I've been asleep for a while. Well, Paul certainly has. Jennifer's not, but she is asleep now. Bless her. Wrapped up like a burrito in her blanket. She looks so cosy. Um, Paul's in bed snoring, so I've come to the spare room. I get a bit colouring. I was downstairs watching some YouTube. I still haven't found my um, remote, so watching a channel called Geographics downstairs. A bit of history, a bit of geography, a bit of geology, all that good stuff. Fascinating, enjoying it. I've watched a few before and I thought I'd just subscribe so I can find him again when I want to watch them. Excuse me, you're, uh, I've just had a shower, as you can tell. And uh, um, I did a bit of colouring, just a pattern. I'm going to try and finish my Baby Dragon from Jade Summers' Baby Dragon's book, or do, at least I'm very close to finishing it, so I'm going to try and finish that off before I go to sleep. I've done no eBay. I did go on to my eBay to have a look at the drafts. All the photos have dropped off, which is fine. They're still on there, so tomorrow I'll make sure that they're good for another month. And I'll pull the... I think there's three up the shed that need to be pulled and re-photographed. The rest of them are downstairs, so I just haven't been bothering. Um, I'm just going to pull it and bring it all back up here. The ones that need to be photographing, I'm just going to pop back in there. I'm not going to prioritise that because I really want to prioritise the shoes I got from Mike um, just to get them out the way because they're taking out a lot of space. And uh, some of these handbags. I'm just having a look. There's a nice, nice blue one here. This is just a little blue handbag. It's no particular brand. It's not branded. Well, actually, that one has got a brand on it, but uh, it just says MHC. I have no idea. But it's in all right condition. They're all in pretty good condition. Some of them have some some marks on the inside, but I'll declare that and uh, put a photograph of said marks. But yeah, they're quite nice. So I'm going to try and get the shoes and the handbags done as much as possible this week because I need to get I need to get the suitcases in, and there's two of them, and I've got nowhere to put them. So I need to clear my corner of shoes, handbags, and computer games. So that's my plan for the rest of the week. Wednesday tomorrow, fish, uh, sausage and chips at my mum's for lunch, so I'll take you there. I'm going to head off now and get myself uh, dry, dressed, and in, uh, into bed, snuggled down to finish this baby dragon. And uh, that's it, really, for tonight. Hopefully tomorrow I'll remember to vlog properly. You know what I'm like. But it's all okay. It's going fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. I'm happy. I was tired today. I had a good sleep this afternoon. Jennifer had a good sleep this afternoon. Even Paul had a doze this afternoon. We're still worn, I think, from doing the flipping, the stripping. So, anyway, I'm fine. Um, I'm getting tired again now. So, yeah, tomorrow I will be doing these shoes. 
and I, I will show you uh, what there is because I don't know I know I've got two pairs in the car with the, the tops and dresses that were there one of them doesn't look like they've been worn at all one looks like they've been worn maybe once around the house you know and um, some of the clothes oh, it just saves me going outsourcing not that I wouldn't go into a charity shop if I wasn't in Newport but I wouldn't think oh I've got to go through every single item to see if there's anything worth buying I can just crack on and as soon as I'm starting to get towards the end and then I'll start thinking hang on I need to start thinking about what I'm gonna do next and I of course I am still looking at the auctions that's it for me tonight I'm cold so I'm gonna get into some jammers and finish this dragon's picture I will see you tomorrow Hey everyone, it's Andrea. It's Wednesday. I've just finished work. I didn't vlog this morning because it's the same thing every day. Take Jennifer to work, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm just finished work. I'm going to get Jennifer and get, get some lunch and take it to my mum's because we have lunch together on a Wednesday. Normally we have sausage and chips as long as it's not too busy in the chip shop. And then, who knows? It depends on what Jennifer wants to do when we get home. Tonight I will be hitting the eBay. Um, now I've checked everything, I know what I've got to do. I've got two to pack, so I'll do that later on. And I'm gonna get out some of the shoes and get them drafted and photographed. And I'm just gonna do it as I go and try and empty the bag. Um, anything that's really crap can go back in to the bin bag and I'll just chuck it out. But there's some nice stuff in there. So I know I'm gonna get some listings out there. And then I can start putting them live tomorrow. So that's my plan to get a load done tonight and start putting them live tomorrow. I'm also gonna do a bit of coloring tonight. I want to try and finish my, um, castle arts video because i've still got castle arts 2 the watercolors to do as well i haven't done them yet i've sorted them so i'll try and finish the picture tonight so i can sort out the watercolors and then i can start swatching no it's all go anyway i'm gonna go and get jennifer so i will see you in a bit jennifer's got her guitar haven't you uh, she's right down. Well, daddy's sitting in your seat isn't he because you were sat in his Are you playing your guitar? Oh, you turned it off. Do you want to swap seats? I'm not Okay, it's Wednesday night. Everybody's in bed. Hopefully Jenna's asleep. I'm upstairs. I've just pulled out all the shoes. There were some odd ones. I've put them in the bin bag. There were some that were really not that nice. And I've put them in the bin bag. And the ones that I think might be salvageable, or are salvageable, or are, are worth selling, I've got here. Some of them are a bit dirty, so I'm going to get a wet wipe in a minute and uh, have a clean. But this is what it looks like so far. So this is the pile. Got my lamp out. So these, these just need a clean. These ones are quite nice. They're just River Island. They've been worn, but not that much. These ones got a mark on it, so I don't know if I can get that off, but I will try. These ones barely look worn these ones i don't think have been worn and i know i've got uh, there's a nice pair of wedges here i've got two of these wedges they just need a clean they've hardly been worn as you can see some of these she would have worn possibly once if that so oh this pair i'm going to put in the bin as nice as they are they're missing some of their sequins on on the one and they got some paint on them or something. So I'm going to get the wet wipes in a second and have a good go. They're all around a size six, so. Because that's what size she was. Too small for me. <laughs> so I'm only going to do, I'm going to do five pairs. And I've got a camera and all this lot to do as well. I'm going to do those six items tonight. Five of which will be listed tomorrow. And then I'll do some more shoes tomorrow night and some bags. The handbags are in another bag and I'll go through those and any rubbish will go into the rubbish bin. There was a box that had shoes in it, um, but it's manky and dirty, so I'm going to use it to put my recycling in. I normally have a carrier bag I'm hanging on the end of the bed. So I am going to crack on with that. I'm going to get those wet wipes, give them a quick wipe. I'm not going to go mad on them. See if I can get off stuff on some of them. If not, I'm quite happy to put them in the bin. They were free anyway. And we'll see how it goes. Shoes. I don't normally do shoes. I've got to be honest, very rare I do shoes. Okay, so I photographed five pairs of shoes and the camera's at six items ready to go. I'll put five tomorrow and then I'll photograph another six items tomorrow. I've still got another five pairs of shoes there and I've got two in the car. I've got two pairs of Christopher's shoes that he's given me and I think I've got a pair of shoes that I've never worn that I'm going to put on as well. So that's another 10 items. Um, I've got some computer games here I'm going to look at tomorrow and, and bundle. Um, 
the five pair of shoes a couple of those they've got red marks on them that is lipstick i think where the kids have been playing with them it is coming off uh, a few of them got marks on it and i'm just cleaning it off a little bit at a time um but i have got five ready to go which is is all i'm asking for i'm not going to overdo it i'm going to try and do like five listings a day every day including saturday and sunday and i've decided what i'm going to do is i'm going to do all the work up here except for packing them in and numbering them uh the SKU numbers uh, which I'll do downstairs and I can just add that in rather than doing it all photographing it taking it downstairs measuring it doing the labels drafting it takes me forever there are a few I'll have to do like that but maybe not I might be able to get away with it I'm, I'm finding that's why I'm not wanting to do it because I've got photographs on my camera that have been there for ages and I haven't drafted them so my plan is to just photograph six items every day after each one, I will draft it, put the photographs in, I will measure it, put in all the all the information that's needed, and the only thing I won't put in will be a SKU number. And I can do the SKU numbers when I pack it, and I'll do that the following day downstairs. I can measure stuff up here, I've got a tape measure, and I can spread it out on the bed so I know it's going to be nice and long. It, it's, it'll be better actually I think so I'm going to try it that way and see if I can just do six items every day <clears throat> if I list five I've got one over so that if I have a day off for any reason it's not a major issue I can find uh, enough to, to list anyway I'm going to call it a night I'm not going to call it tonight I'm, I'm a bit tired the bedroom is in an absolute state because there's stock everywhere um, and I'll leave it there so tomorrow I'm going to take the stuff I've just drafted and I'm going to be listing, apart from the one item, I'll take it up to the shed because I've got two items to pull, I haven't done it. I will do it tomorrow and post them on Friday, that's fine. I've got to do my accounts, I've got to do my tax return. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to make a plan for next week. So I've got to work every day, but if I make a plan for next week and just say I'm just going to stick to doing these five items, uh, six items a day, and then hopefully I'll still have time to do some filming as well. If Jennifer has asleep, I might have to try and do the eBay or the, the filming in the afternoon. We'll just have to see how it goes. Anyway, that's it for today. Now, what I did want to say was Christmas is coming. And that means you have a choice. You can have a weekly vlog like you have every week. Or you can have a daily short vlog as in Vlogmas entirely up to you I don't mind it is easier doing a weekly vlog because I can do it up to Sunday stop Sunday evening when I put Jennifer to bed and say that's it and then I can get it edited ready for uploading Monday but there's no reason why I couldn't do a weekly vlog or a daily vlog that ends when pretty much when Jennifer goes to bed it's just they'll be very short they'd just be daily on top of my normal colouring videos let me know if that would be something you're interested in down in the comments below and I'll see you in the morning Hey everyone, it is Thursday, it's lunchtime, I've just finished my shift and I'm not in focus. There we go, that's better. So I'm just going to get ready, go get Jen and we're going to go down to Mum and Dad's again, because um, she wants to. <laughs> this afternoon I've got five things I can list on my eBay, I've still got all the specifics put in. For some reason, they keep adding new categories to their specifics and then they tell you you've got to put them in. There's like over 200 items. Some people have got thousands, so I'm not going to be complaining too much. Um, but it is stupid stuff. Like, it's already in women's wear. It's already listed as women's clothing. And it's in the department. And it's still saying I've got to put it back in. It's, it's, oh. it's just ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. But hey-ho, that's eBay for you. Some of the things are ridiculous. So I am going to go do that now. Going to get Jennifer. Head off to Mum's. And then I'm going to put my items live when I come back, which will be nice, and uh, do some more later on. I'm only going to do six items a day. I'm not overdoing it. Like I said, I'm going to photograph, draft, get it all ready, and then the next day all I've got to do is go and list it and put the SKU numbers in, or pack it and put the SKU numbers in, but it all can be listed at the same time, so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's not going to be... I'm going to try it this way and see how it goes. I think this will work better for me. So I'm going to crack on with that and I will see you in a bit. I've just come out to get Jennifer and it's absolutely gorgeous out now. It was raining earlier and I thought it was going to rain all day. But the sun's out, the sky's blue. It's absolutely stunning. Look. Look at that blue sky. Well, you can't really see it because I'm in the car, so... But it's absolutely beautiful. I can't believe how nice it looks now. So I'm going to go and get Jen and then we're going to head off to Grandad's and see what's going on. I can't wait to see her. Jennifer's digging in the garden. What's that, darling? 
What are you digging? You digging a hole? Can I come and have a look? I'll come round. In Grandad's garden. What's that, sweetheart? Oh, I see. Okay. Where's your hole? Is it here? Oh, no, I'll just stay this side. You dig your hole so I can see. Good girl. Let me know if you find anything exciting. There's nobody there. Waffle. No, no waffle. And in there. Oh, in there, yeah. They got two dogs in there. Two dogs here. Yeah. And Nana's got one dog, and she? Rose. Rose. Are you going to say hello to Rose today? Rose today. Say hello to Rose today, okay. Rose Daddy Rose. Oh, we'll be back in a minute. You might have to go to work, but he might be like not. We don't know what's happening yet. You having fun? What have you found? You found a worm! Oh, Janet, won't it? It's just a worm, look. Look, it's a worm. See? Look. And the shoes. It won't hurt you. It's just a worm. I'll put him over there, shall I? Oh, he's all wiggly. I'll move him out your way so you can carry on digging, all right? There you go. Carry on digging now, Jen. He's all right. He's going away. Look. Oh, there. There. Oh, it's just a thing. Carry on. Keep going. Y yeah. All right. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Come on, he's going. It's only a worm. He's gone. It's, no, he's still there. I can see him. Away. Look, he's there. It's a worm. Look, you see, just there. Look, see, <laughs> he won't hurt you though. Worms won't hurt you. I promise. I know, but I'm watching her. She's playing. You coming in for a drink, or do you want to dig some more? I'm going to move there. Do you want me to move this? I don't know where do you want it. Over here. Oh, you want it to stop the worm. Are you coming in? The worm's fine. It's gone back in the earth. We going in the house? That's just a stick, Jennifer. That's not a worm. No, no worms. Ah, don't throw it at mummy. Should we go inside? It's getting cold. Come on then. You want to do some more digging? Oh, he's going to move out the way then. You coming in? Where are you going? I'm not digging. I want to go and drink my tea. Oh, Grandad's had to go to work, darling. He'll be back soon and then we'll go home. He's had to go, Jen. Okay, so it's uh, this evening. I'm up in the shed, putting the two orders. I've put some of the stuff on the shelf. I'll show you that in a minute. And tidying up, tidying up a little bit. Jennifer's uh, in bed. Whether or not she'll stay there is another thing. So I've put, this is a stock that's not clothing, not computer games or DVDs. Not a lot on here, so the Cindy stuff was on here. Now this is sold, so I've got to pull that in a minute. So I'm just going to pop that over here ready. So I've got a few bits of Cindy stuff there. Two bits left out of all that stuff I got. There's some jewellery here. There's some rubber stamps there. I've got some more rubber stamps to um, list. I'm going to try and sort that lot out in a bit after I've had a cup of tea. As you can see, these are the shoes I did last night, apart from the red ones, which were already on there. So there's four of the pairs there, and there's another pair down there. I'm just getting boxes out and breaking down boxes, trying to have a bit of a tidy up. 
in this bag is the clothing I've had to pull because it needs to be re-photographed. There's a bag in there with a pair of boots of Christopher's, my brother, and I've got another pair of his shoes here that he's never worn, Clark's ones. So I'm going to pop them in and take them up and there's a pair of vans under there. I'm going to get do those as well. And uh, try and get those photographed. So that will give me one two three items and I just need to find another three for tomorrow's list and there's some handbags the other shoes need cleaning and I'll probably do that on the weekend here is in there where the head is head of Maisie there's a load of jewelry and a camera that's all going to be sorted out this weekend and put into a different box and I've got this lot to sort out now these are two shoe boxes um Clark's one so I will put one of Christopher's pairs in there and put it on there and then I've got these games here dare some master puzzles um, go for broke there I think there's some more behind actually oh no maybe not there's some more somewhere I have no idea where they've gone I need to sort them out I hate board games I don't do them there's an Xbox controller there oh there's something going there there's atmosphere two blockbusters and atmosphere this is where i keep my computer games and some dvds not much in there at the moment i'm gonna have a look at doing some of that in a bit and obviously my envelopes newspapers for packing carrier bags and then this is where i keep my poly mailers clothing so I'm just doing the two orders I've got so they can go off tomorrow so there's some of this stuff that was left over from when Phil put the light in so I'm going to, to break that up put it in my recycling bin I've got two bins identical here this one's a recycling bin this one is just general waste um, I just want to get this organized it's getting colder so I want to spend less and there's another box over there, a small one that needs to be broken down. Um, I keep all my Amazon boxes if I get a proper box. So for instance, this was an Amazon box, I'll probably be using that today for the, the Cindy thing. Here's another one, Amazon box. Something small was in there, I should break that down, it'll go on the, and then when I need something that size. I've got it. I do need to order some more bubble wrap at some point, although I've got some lots of loose bits for void fill. And I need to order some sellotape and some plastic bags I put my clothing in for when I store it in these boxes. As you can see, these boxes here. And there's lots of empty bits as well. So the stuff I got from Marilyn's, which I'll show you later, I will um, put in. So over there on those big boxes, the top box, very top has got coat in it. And we've got jumpers and skirts, coats. This one is dresses. No. Yeah, jumpers and skirts, and that's all dresses. And then there's three more boxes underneath there that have just got cameras in. So I need to sort this out. Now the bed frame there is going to be Jennifer's bed, so that'll be going in soon. With any luck. So I want to crack on and get rid of some of this rubbish that's sitting on the floor. So I can um, crack on with it. It's a bit of a mess. So I need to try and uh, sort it out, really. I might do some of the handbags today because, like I said, the other shoes need cleaning and I need water to do that. So I'm going to have to bring them downstairs and do it. But that's okay, I will. But yeah, so that, that's all up there. I've not listed it yet, but I will soon. I'm thinking I might move those cameras onto the top shelf because they don't need a lot of space. And then I've got all that space for boxes and other things when I get listed. If I ever get, so when those boxes come off, that'll give me another shelf to put uh, unlisted stock on, should I need to. And I might start putting the cameras on there as I, I start sorting them out. So that's cool. Anyway, I better crack on, otherwise I'm never, ever going to get this done. Okay, so it's Thursday night. I'm just setting up to do some photographs for eBay. I'm really not in the mood tonight. I'm feeling a bit down, a bit fed up. I've been a bit weird. Feel just feel off today. This evening I've just fucked me off. I think I was really tired and I've just not got over it. So, but I've got to do it because if I don't do them, I won't get money and I need to pay for my fees because I have a shop subscription which is £30 or £35 every month. So I have to make enough money to cover that as well as any extras. 
so I've had a few sales I haven't done my accounts this month I've got to do that I must try and do that tomorrow yeah. I'm feeling really worn out but I am determined to get six items ready so I have put five of those uh, um, shoes done and I've got I think four pairs that I can do now and I'll do two bags so two pairs of shoes of Christopher's that he gave me there's a pair of vans I've had for a while I haven't listed and then there's a pair of the stuff I got from Marilyn's I'm gonna just do um, yeah and then of course I can I'll do two of the bags but uh, I got to tidy up in a smart it's the right state but I really am not feeling it I really I don't want to do it but I'm, I'm forcing myself I'm just charging my phone battery at the moment because it's a bit low while I sort out what I'm going to do so I'm gonna pull those out and I'll be back in a sec so I've got the six items these are a pair of Clark shoes that were my brother's size 11 he's never worn them a pair of peanuts vans they're in good condition but there are some marks on them again these are a pair of Christopher's boots he's worn maybe once or twice I'll clean the bottom off with wet wipe um, mark pens there not that bag this bag is nice but it needs a bit of a clean before I can do anything with it I'll just chuck that one back over there. I'll do cleaning. I'll clean stuff on the weekend. Um, and then I've got this pair of shoes I showed you yesterday. Peep toe sandals. They've just got some marks on, on the sole. They're not that bad. They're really nice. And then this little silver purse. And this, this blue one's quite nice. So there are some other nice ones that need a bit of a clean. And like I said, I'm going to do the cleaning on the weekend. But these are the six items I'm going to do now. Uh, ready to uh, get listed tomorrow. And tomorrow I will list another six items. No, I'll list five items and that'll give me two over. So the idea is I do six every day. So tomorrow I might do some clothing. Just because... I don't really want to do anything I've got to to clean. So I'll put all the stuff that needs to be cleaned over in uh, one section. So that's the bags. I'll check through them all in a minute. Um, I'll put them all into a bag to be cleaned. And then I'll take them downstairs and I'll clean what I can. Some of it might just need to go in over with a wet wipe. Um, so I'm going to crack on with this. Because once this is done, I want to colour a little bit in my Colour by Number book by Jade Summer. Because, yeah, I'm just doing Jade Summer stuff this month. And then tomorrow I'm, I'm going to try and finish some of the other ones. Um, I'm going to try and do some of this stuff a little bit earlier uh, tomorrow. And get it done so I've got the evening free to do some filming. Right, I'm going to crack on with this and I'll see you afterwards. Okay, I've got all my drafting done. I've sorted out the bags and the shoes that need cleaning and put them in the corner. I've actually taken the stuff I've drafted downstairs ready to go up to the shed tomorrow and I will just take it up the shed tomorrow. Um, so I'm trying to do a bit tidying up there every time I go up. And then tomorrow night I think I'm going to photograph six of the clothing items I'd photographed before and get them ready to go up. Because um, I want to clean the bags and the shoes but I need the weekend to do that so I need to take them downstairs so I need to have time. So I think I'll do that. So I'll bring up all the stuff that's downstairs and I'll get six items photographed, drafted, measured, ready to go. Um, some of them are in their bags already and I might bring the bags up and do them up here. I think it'll be easier. It's just going to be easier and quicker for me to do it all in one go, I think. Anyway, it's getting late. It's nearly 11 o'clock. I'm going to try and do some of this tomorrow afternoon rather than do it all in one go in the evening. Because I need to do a colour and chat soon as well. Because um, we're still doing Tales from Midnight Masquerade. And I meant to do one the other day, but I'm having problems uploading videos again. It's doing my head in. Every time I do one, I go to upload it and then it doesn't upload and I'm like, seriously? But hey, never mind. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Morning, everyone. It's Friday morning. Just dropped Jennifer off at nursery. She had a nightmare at four o'clock this morning and started screaming. And that was it. She's been up ever since. Bless her poor kid. So, I'm shattered. She's fine. She's full of energy. She's good. I was hoping to do some work this afternoon, but I think if she has a sleep, I'm going to have to sleep because I'm absolutely exhausted. I need my sleep. I usually get up about six. So I've lost two hours of sleep today, so. But I'll live. 
I'm just going to get sorted to start work. Like I said, I've got a bag of stuff to go up the shed and put that away. I'm just taking it up every day. And then I'll find six more items to photograph tonight. And it may well be stuff I've already photographed and I'm just re-photographing to get it ready to get listed. So I might just do that. I need to get the suitcases out of the car. They're going to have to go in Jennifer's room because it's the emptiest room at the moment. Uh, while I clear some space. I need the car on Sunday. So it's got to be out by Sunday. And... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, and uh, Phil the Builder's coming up to have a look at her room about um, skimming plaster work. So he's going to have a look and see what needs to be done. Bless him, he's a star. So, yeah, I know there's another two pairs of shoes in the car. I was going to get them out and I forgot. I might get them out later. Uh, one of the pairs, anyway, because the other pair is in a suitcase. Um, and I've got a pair of shoes of mine that I've never worn and they're just sitting in a wardrobe. They're really nice shoes. Um... So I, I'm probably going to flog them as well because I'd rather have some money back. So we'll just sell them and get some money into the pot. She's a funny kid. But oh my god, she was... I thought she was having night terrors but I went into her room to check on her and she was standing up and tears were streaming down her face. Poor kid. And I cuddled her for a bit and then she lay back down and I come back in here and she started screaming again. So. I went back and got her out again, gave her another drink because she wanted another drink and then I put her back down and she was alright for 15 minutes but of course you're lying there waiting for it to happen again, you're listening and then of course it happens again and Paul didn't hear it, well he did and he thought he was getting up but then he fell back asleep because he's a man and then so uh, this was about half past five I thought I sod this, I might as well get up so Paul got her up, got her up, took her downstairs, she wanted to watch TV, she put the TV on, had a cup of tea she said she wanted some cereal, she didn't eat it she wanted a dad, so he got up and came down. Then she wanted some toast because I had it. She was watching Peppa Pig. Um, but now she's in nursery. And that's fine. I don't mind if she wants to watch something. But it's horrible when she has a nightmare and it really w knackers me out as well. And now I've got to work. So I will catch up with you afterwards. Show you what I'm doing eBay-wise later. Yeah, I'm a bit lost for words then. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Okay, um, I picked Jennifer up, I've had some lunch, I've put it down, she is tired, um, she's lying down in her cot and she's closed her eyes and I went to have a look at her, she opened her eyes and looked at me, I went, are you going to sleep? And she went, so I'm going to have a try and have a little sleep now before uh, Phil comes. I've got uh, filming to do, I brought the one of the two pairs of shoes from the car in, the other one's in one of the suitcases, I'll we'll have to get them out later. And... Uh, so I'll do one of those tonight and I think I'll, I'll do some of the, some clothing tonight just to get it done. Possibly the stuff that, some of the stuff that's already been done, um, re-photographed and, and popped back in and I also need to go up the shed and take the stuff up later but I'm going to have a nap, I've got a stinking headache, I think it's caused from lack of sleep. So, but Jennifer had a good day at nursery, which is the main thing. I've got my £30 gift voucher from work for Christmas, non-Christmas party. I'll be spending that on Amazon at some point. Hmm, now do I get reading books? Do I get colouring books? Do I get supplies? Do I get records? Hmm, the choice is all mine. But I will have a look. Um, you know, I want the new Deborah Muller colour, co colouring book, Christmas one. And there's bound to be a few more, so I'll have a look at them later. But now I'm going to try and get a few Zs before Phil comes and dinner comes at half past six, because it's Fish and Chip Friday. Oh yes, from the village fish shop in Bayslake. Yum! Anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now and lie down and get some zits. Morning everybody, it's Saturday, we're about to go over to Paul's mum's. <clears throat> I didn't wrap up yesterday, I know. Um, I wasn't in the mood, I was very tired. I didn't do anything last night, we just watched TV. Uh, I, I watched two movies last night for a change. I watched Frozen because Jennifer wanted to watch it and then she stopped watching it but I was watching it so I watched the end. Um, and a Betty Grable film called The Beautiful Blonde from Bashful Bend. I finally watched it, enjoyed it. Enjoyed both of them. I hadn't seen either of them, I admit. I haven't seen Frozen. I have now, but I hadn't. Anyway, Jennifer's kicking off, so I better go and see what's going on. Hi guys, it's Saturday night. I haven't vlogged much today. We went to Paul's mum. It was really nice. We had some lunch with her. And then we went for a walk down to the shops to get some milk, because we needed some. And we popped in a charity shop, and I bought two paperbacks for my mum and a copy, a box set of six... Enid Blyton Mallory Towers stories, which I'm going to read and then put them away for Jennifer Hornson when she's older. Other than that, we've had a curry because we're all shattered again, don't know what's going on. 
Anyway, Jennifer's in bed, Paul's gone up to bed, and I'm going to have a shower and I'm going to bed. So it's Sunday tomorrow. I will see you then. Bye, guys. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. We're about to go shopping. Apparently, Rose isn't doing a lot today. Mum's worried about it. She needs a bet when it's sound a bit. So we'll have a look at that. We're all all right. I'm just playing with my egg because it's a mess. Daddy, Jennifer's Daddy. running around like a mad woman. It's up at half past seven. So we're going to go shopping. Probably not a lot going to be happening today. So I'll be knocking this video off earlier so I can get it up tonight. Because I am going to film a colouring chat tonight because I haven't done one yet. So that'll be up tomorrow. See you later. Are you helping Grandad with his potting, Jen? Yes. Yeah. You've got mud all over your face again. Huh? I'm getting her on face. It's got a lot of jumpers. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Going to wash later. Let's have a look. Yeah, a bit more. Pop it down then. Just one little bit more. Look. Jennifer's helping Grandad right, in the garden. Have we, have we got anything to plant, have we? Yeah. Oh, we planting. I dig now. I dig. You, you dig? Go. I dig you now. You put the strawberry in. I'll get another one in a minute. Put that, you're going to put this plant in for Grandad? I'll dig Grandad. You, know, you want to dig? Oh, hey, put that in for Grandad first. Put it in for Grandad in the pot. That's right, stick your head down. That's right, push it down. Push it in the mud. Not from the top. That's all right, it's all right. Yeah. There. Oh, well done. Now. You like digging? Let me dig, all right. Go on then. Don't find any more worms though, because you were scared of the worm last time. Yeah, she was? She got one in her hand before, eh? Well, one came up, yes, the other day when you, you were digging and you'd gone to work. And she was like, oh. I picked it up and moved it out of the way. She would go near it. Come on. Come and help Grandad then. I've got to find the there first. What? What's the stone? You're all right. Come on in, in there. Wait for Grandad. Mummy, Mummy. Let me go round there with you. Alright, Mummy's coming. Well, I get to mommy, wipe my hands. Hmm? Come on then. Boone. Boone. Boone is all gone. All gone? Oh, the worm's all gone. Yes, he'll be gone now. There'll be more though. You helping Grandad plant? Yeah. No more. He's coming now. No more, please. Jennifer? Why? The worm's gone. You need to dig a hole, see if a worm will come out. Oh, gone? Hmm, there are probably worms under the soil. Huh? Grandad will come and get you a thing in a minute, alright? Strawberry, strawberry plant. Oh, there's a robin. Yeah, I'll come and have a drink in a minute. Go on then, what are you doing? You're digging my garden all up, are you? The room is all gone. What's all gone? Oh, you got to dig a hole, haven't you? You want to dig a hole? There he goes. So it's time for a little pint at the pub. Jennifer's got her hula hoops. I bought them for himself originally. Oh, right. A packet of caramel ones. Yes. And I started eating them. Sunday afternoon in the pub. You want to try one? Yeah, all right, now let's just try them and uh, that's it. I don't get looking. <laughs> get looking. But what I got, because you can't, the dark caramel ones are a bit more expensive. Mm. You can't always get them. No. <clears throat> when I get them, I buy one because they're a smaller packet yeah. and a bit dearer. Mm. And a big packet, and I tell you to mix them in together. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You've got your stuck finger. And me. Da, da, da. Have a fight. Have a fight. <laughs> to be over the fear of dogs. You've been fussing every single dog that comes up here. It's great. Jennifer! Come on, darling. 
the people saying it's okay. I gotta go find Nana. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Nanny needs him. Daddy, Daddy can. No, Daddy's down. attitude. Daddy had to sit down. No. Yeah, he's older than me. Hey guys, it's the end of the day. Um, I was trying to try and upload this on Sunday, but it's not happened. And I wanted to film tonight, and I'm not doing it. I've got a stinking sinus headache, and I'm going to bed. And I'm going to go to sleep. I might colour for a bit, but I doubt it. I'm going to take some painkillers, paracetamol, Sudafed, whatever. Sudafed, probably. And try and get some sleep, because it's absolutely killing me. I've got to work tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. We'll do it all again next week. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.